In this module, we will look at how the bridge team can use instruments to assist with pilotage and berthing. We will look at various equipment, with particular focus on ECDIS. We hope that you enjoy the module and that the knowledge provided helps to increase your safety at sea. Let's start by looking at what we mean by pilotage. It is being tasked with conducting a vessel. In simple terms, this means being able to give helm and engine orders. It usually takes place in confined waters, where there is a greater danger of grounding or hitting a fixed object. In a pilotage water, there will always be other vessels that are a risk to own ship. However, in this module, we will not consider the threat from them. In a port approach with a local pilot on board, the bridge team should follow a confined waters plan. There should also be a confined waters plan in places where the master and officers pilot the vessel, such as the Singapore Strait. What makes this plan different to a standard passage plan? It is more detailed and will have more than just the track and cross-track limits. The detail comes from local knowledge and local information sources. First, we must ask how we can define confined waters. We can definitely say that it is an area where we need a very detailed plan. It could be that the SMS has guidance. It can also be helpful to undertake a risk assessment with the aid of a checklist. What is the margin of error on the track? Do environmental factors and available sea room dictate that a high degree of monitoring and course and or speed correction is required to prevent grounding? Would a machinery breakdown or an undetected error, mistake or loss of situational awareness quickly cause a grounding or collision with a fixed or floating object? Will it be necessary for the main engine or engines to be on standby with the engine room manned and additional generators and steering motors running? Is there a local pilot on board? If the risk assessment shows confined waters, then a confined waters plan has to be made as part of the voyage plan. Before a vessel enters confined waters, there are a few checks you can make. Always ensure that the consistent common reference point is properly set. Remember, it is usually the coordinates of the conning position on a vessel. Aerial position should then be referenced to it. The time filter on a navigational receiver is very important, particularly on a fast turning or fast accelerating vessel. If you are not sure about time filtering, press the button for more information. Any device that receives and displays data without processing it will show it real or as it is received. For a GNSS receiver, this means that the indicated position will vary as the incoming signals vary due to various error effects. When this GNSS raw signal is fed to an ECDIS, the own ship symbol on the ECDIS display would start to jump around in sympathy with the error. This is clearly not acceptable, so a filter is employed that does a mathematical calculation to decide upon the most probable position. This then feeds the ECTIS with a damped position that appears to be stable and the own ship symbol is steady. The ECTIS system usually does not have a filter. Instead, it is found within the GNSS receiver or within an integrated navigation unit. The filter is often called the time constant. A high setting damps down the movement of the own ship symbol, but can cause errors in the displayed position, particularly on high speed vessels. To ensure that the vessel symbol is to scale, it is important to store the correct parameters. This is particularly important when using an ENC with navigation purpose harbour or berthing. 
where the vessel is positioned relative to fixed objects. The ECDIS may need to have the draft set correctly to give an alert when the UKC from a connected echo sounder reaches a set value. This simple introduction tells us that the bridge team should decide when their vessel will be in confined waters. A master may have guidance from the SMS on board. As a result, they can make sure that there is a confined waters plan in place. There are also basic checks to ensure that the ship symbol is displayed correctly on ECDIS.